some studies have emerged recently that go against what we know is good practice when creating job ads. What candidates are looking for in job ads is changing and our strategy needs to evolve to address this. So what are some of the ways that our job ads need to change in order to keep up with the times and to continue to attract the best talent on the market? Change number one. Company culture needs less space. For years, it's been good practice to include a section in your job ads selling a company's culture, values and their mission. Candidates do still want to know about a new employee's culture, but an interesting study has shown that these sections have the lowest engagement and candidates just skip over them. But why is this? It's more likely because nowadays we're creating job ads for candidates who are already excellent researchers. People prefer to do their own digging, checking out a company's social media and their website, for example, rather than relying on what is essentially a sales pitch to make their mind up about whether they'd like to work for the company or not. Stick to the important details within the job ad and provide clear link outs to pages where the candidate can learn more about the company independently. Change number two, candidates want straight answers. It's a candidate-led market, and with the job boards being chock-a-block, candidates just have so many ads to get through, they need, answers <clears throat> they need answers to quickly qualify themselves in or out, and decide if the opportunity is worth applying for. New research suggests candidates will spend 14 seconds in a job ad before making up their mind. So what do we do to keep up with this? Give candidates the answers they're looking for. Just like a recruiter wants to scan through a CV, candidates want to scan through a job ad. Competitive salary just won't cut it. And possibly result in your ad being ignored, but not just by candidates, you can also say bye to pulling through to Google for jobs. As a clear salary bracket is one of the essential details for your job ads to get picked up. If you're unsure what the Google for jobs criteria is, Drop me a message below and I'll prop across a checklist that can help you. Change number three, visualization is key. If you want a candidate to buy into your role, they need to be able to visualize themselves in the role in the first place. As a recruiter creating the job ad, it's crucial you fully understand it yourself and can visualize the role when you're writing the job ad. Otherwise, candidates won't either. We can do this by understanding your niche and your industry's candidates. You know what they're looking for in a role. Keep this in mind when creating those job ads. For example, a Java developer's day-to-day -day will be the same no matter what company they're at. So focusing on benefits and cultures is likely to be the best way to sway these candidates. Compare this to how you'd want to sell a marketing executive role in the strategy should be quite different. Marketing roles tend to be extremely dynamic and can cover so much ground that it's crucial to include clear details of their day-to-day -day duties so candidates can visualize what their role would look like and what will be expected of them. To find out more about how to future-proof your job ad strategy that will ensure your job ads are getting the largest reach possible, take a look at the link in the comments where you can read the full blog and download our Google for Jobs playbook, all for recruiters.